Hello, welcome to our family farm. I'm Christy. I'm Mr. Turkey. Go, 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 go. It's turkey, but it's... All right, so today is... It is the 28th. I know, just because we have some cute things for Halloween this year. Uh, which, because it's fall. So, you say happy fall. Right? No, you don't like fall, so you don't think it's cold. Well, you like fall, you just don't want to put fall as fall. Alright. So, good morning. This is episode 156, I think. We're on a different computer downstairs. Why are we downstairs? It's uh, cold. It's cold. Um, remember, we don't have central heat in the air. <coughs> so, you'll see more things happening down here in the kitchen. Huh? Where the big wood burn stove is. So, we like that. Alright, in the barn stalls. RJ's got one thing he needs to do. Well, it's more than one thing. But, um, Alright, so start with the enemy. So, what's going on? He's got a in his mouth. Okay, so let's start with Precious. She came home, right? Um, we thought that she had a new home. The lady found a different horse and decided that she liked it better, so she returned Precious to us. In the bad thing, in the good thing, it, it just is what it is. Um, she did not finish the adoption process, so um, Precious was still legally ours and she was returned. Um, then, what happened with Over an empty feed trough. Correct? Mm -hmm. okay. So, um, yeah. And Mustangs kind of fight a little bit different and they're more aggressive and they don't really stop. She went after Coop. It was a, it's not just your average fight. It was a Mustang, wild Mustang going after a domestic horse. And they just, they both wanted to see what was in the feed trough. And the truth is, there was nothing in the feed trough. There was nothing for them to fight over. But the feed trough was in a stall. We'd run them in there to run some cow past. And they just, Star had a meltdown and she blew up. And it um, so now we're doctoring that kick, correct? She's on an antibiotic and it's being drained. I mean, they can they pop up. I mean, you can think of the size of a hook. And she planted a good one like what would be right here on her chest. And so it's gathering fluid. So she's on antibiotic and it's being drained. Um, now, Coop doesn't seem to be sore, except for the fact that the farrier came. And when he made her stand on three feet, and he worked on that foot when he held it up for a long time and then hammered the nail and she has to have shoes on his feet. Um, it was a little bit rougher. I think if we'd only trimmed her, it would have been better. But we can't just trim her because we're not washing these clothes. Whatever we do, we're stuck with for six weeks. That spot should heal within the next week or so. Week to ten days, I think. So, yeah, we had to put shoes on her again. If she was going to be not rode because of the end, we just pull the shoes off her anyway. But because that's supposed to be the faster than the process coming back, we had to pull her. So um, she was a little sore with that. Right. He's eating his lunch. See, there it is right because you can't see him. Better? It's better than I'm looking at the square on the porch. Anyway, all right, anything else? Um, Murphy's liking this thing. He came in the house, right? Mm -hmm. He loves being able to walk into the back door now. Um, with that uh, new fencing in, he is having a blast. All right. I can't wait to get everything cleared so we can just go. Um, we find him. I've got to clean off the back porch. I had some stuff 
Play Store. And it's got me coming off of what it's not going to do. You got to watch out for it. Yeah, he said for you to stall. I don't know if he's afraid he's gonna, that we're going to shut the door or what, but he goes in there and he eats, which he is so particular. RJ, what does he do with the beef? Mom picks the red one. That's a little bit off the ground. Not fucking hell. I just fixed it. And it was then, broke and she fixed it. Yep, and then it didn't feel like So we go. put it in with him because it's just a loop. It, it doesn't feed like, like one sheep, one anything, and it's pointless to have it on the pasture and this other stuff is all the pipe. So, so Mom gave it to Murphy. And she just stuck his pan on top of it. Well, I stuck his pan off the side and started feeding it. And last night, Dad didn't know that Mom thinks to feed her. Because we fed him in his little pan, he sits on the ground, and he would eat it. Yeah. I think it has to do with the height. Um, also, the feeder is really I wouldn't want to eat out of a hollow bar whatever. Yeah. But I don't think the horse is recognizing it. So, you know, um, I think he just loves it off the ground, too. But he did. He got all snoopy and snorty and stood beside it and wouldn't be marching out there. Coax his baby. <laughs> Spoiled him on the farm. <coughs> but he's learned to in the house, right? And he likes to. He comes back up. Anytime he gets scared of anything, he's going to affect him. Um, Moose likes him through the back door, but if you open that door, Moose freaks out. So he's like, Woo, my buddy! Yeah, no. It's kind of funny. Alright, and then we turn the bull loose, right? So the bull is on the pasture, that will give us babies win. Just like Star and uh, Caillou, 
she is from the Wild Girl program, and um, we'll see how it goes. Um, I hope she just kind of, now we're not going to break her to ride, so I'm not uh, worried about that, but I just want her handleable, and we'll see. Just guess. That's not in this part yet. She mixed them up. I did not. Well, sort of. Don't. I didn't know. I you had to change and, you and I dropped the whole thing. So it's sitting here and needs to send this much of Alright, just remember that you're bouncing this. Alright, so that was in the hard stuff. You should have been the easy. Maybe the fences. Alright, anything else in music? What else do we want? 
So you don't want to be a worm expert, you just kind of got a class of that. People know more than me. This is an earthquake. I don't want to see that. Door. What is an earthquake? No, it's not. Go get me some coffee. Any coffee. Anyway, so if you know anything about the worms, I do need to figure out. And honestly, if it hadn't dropped so fast, I was contemplating turning them back, just throwing them out into the ground and letting them put themselves away for the winter, and then digging up new worms in the spring. I don't, I don't know if it's too late to turn them out. I don't know if, um, if the ground is solid. I mean, it's cold for the last two days, but the ground hasn't frozen. 
itself. You still can um, dig. But is it too hard for a worm to dig through? Or am I just going to throw them on top and then freeze? You know? So, anyway, trying to figure out how to weather or winter here for worms. Um, but I, I am, do want to break down that. And I, I know how to separate them from the castings. You pretty much just dig through them. You know, it's just worm poop. So, anyway. Moving on, if you know that, let me know. What comes after in the field? Oh, no, we skipped in the yarn farm. Uh, in the yarn farm, I want to back up. I have a class on Monday for elder players. It's not really a class, it's a demonstration and getting them talking and remembering how they used to do cheese. Um, but it's cheese that, you know, around here, everybody used to. Um, make farmer's cheese and hang it out on their clothesline. So we're going to get through talking about that. It's for elder care. These people probably will never make cheese. It's just a thing down memory lane. So I'm going to do it as a demo. Um, so, uh, and then, you didn't talk about the contest. No, I'm not. Because of what you're going to do. Uh, there is a contest going on. And I'm not sure what I'm giving away. I guess it would depend on whether an adult one or a child one. So we're going to have a child. Uh, but you can't see who it is, so how do we know? Like who posts a picture? I guess. Okay. So we're having a contest. It's called for Yeah. Well, I'm going to share them. I'm going to share them to an album. So. Uh, okay, so we're going to do, and we're going to repeat the beginning at Christmas time, aren't we? Okay, so show them what it is. They're, they're called Silly Selfies, and we have these, and we have the ones that RJ's been playing with. I just, they're pre-printed, paid a, you know, they're the dollar things from Michael's. I went to Michael's for the first time. That, that the farmhouse. A turkey for Thanksgiving. And this, um... This is running until the day after Thanksgiving. So, and there's your outfit. And we went out and took some silly selfies, but ours don't mean. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cute. Anyway, so for Halloween, we're going to open up between 6 and 8, which I might back it up to 5 and 8. And people can come out, take their silly selfies, and trick or treat us. And then all they have to do is upload it to Facebook. Or really any social media. If they just get us the picture, it will be entered in the process, correct? And then we're going to have a prize for... Farmhouse. What if you're I'm hungry. I'm in the farmhouse. What have you 
you can do it. Well, of course, it's you. They jumped a couple of times, right? The chicken table. The kitchen. I'm so busy. You're so stupid. 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 You're so stupid.